I came across a tweet the other day that had screenshots of some random Japanese movie. This was either gonna be a sight for sore nuts or the worst thing ever. So let's talk about the rare oddity that is 2014's Death Forest. For starters, I wasn't even sure if this movie existed. The more time I spent looking for it, the more I started to think that this was some weird inside joke. But reading through the responses, people kept mentioning Death Forest. And I found IMDb's and wikis and apparently there's five parts. But I could not, for the life of me, find anywhere to watch it. It wasn't on any major streaming platform, it wasn't on Tubi, Voodoo, Crackle, it wasn't uploaded to Vimeo. I found a hard copy on Amazon, but that told me that it wouldn't be able to be played on most DVD players in the US. And no, I didn't do any research past that. Besides, I wouldn't even be able to address the problem until mid-December when the DVD would arrive. I found some trailers and then also found out that the movie was apparently based off some rando bando indie game called Death Forest. So obviously I had to play it. Ah! That game was kind of ass. And they make bad movies from good games. So... <laughs> Someone must have saw the same tweet I did. Because by sheer luck, I ended up finding the movie. In all its glory, just recently uploaded to YouTube within the past couple days. And I'm not going to blow the spot up, but... Appreciate you. So I watched it. And I'm fully aware that I'm blue-balling the shit out of you. I still have more to say, but I'll spoil the gimmick here for you. I'm starting to feel bad. One of the monsters in the movie is this. Oh, not her. I mean that. Don't close your eyes. Look at it. Look at it. You look at it! This is so goofy, but so unsettling at the same time. This is one of our antagonists. This demonic paper mache. Fucking spooky snowball. I saw pictures of that thing and I knew that I had to see this ashy boulder in action. The movie's in Japanese, and I didn't exactly hit the lottery, scoring the version that has subtitles, but my guardian angel still threw me a lob because since it was uploaded to YouTube, YouTube has an auto-translate feature. Does it work? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I mean, the poor thing tried. I'm sure if the Squid Game cast had one of their 1440p interviews and spoke clearly and directly into the mic without any background noise, these ones and zeros would fuck. But that wasn't the case with this really dog shit movie that I was watching. The translation was sometimes a few seconds behind, obviously inaccurate at times, or when there was more than one person talking, it would just mangle everybody's lines together, and I really wouldn't know who was saying what. But none of that really matters, because mostly, it would just... and not do shit. I'm just watching the movie. <laughs> There'd be no, there'd be no translation. And just be like, I have, I, you got a good as idea as I fucking do. And I'm sure you're asking, how the hell do you even know it was accurate at all? Well, there's one scene where the guy says, I'm going to go check the camera. And then he went to go check the camera. Checks out. The main character's name is Saki. Had to look that up. She's camping with, actually, it's probably the perfect time to read that IMDb blurb. So these people were in the forest and they needed to get back to their house, but they took a wrong turn to the forest only to find themselves with this old woman that's alone and knows a spirit that will haunt them and kill them. This reads like how a third grader would explain the movie to me. I'm sure this is just a harsh translation, but funny nonetheless. I don't want to turn around. I feel like there's something behind me. Is there something behind me? Oh, shit. This video is sponsored by Noom. No, not that guy.
Although I wish. Noom is a consumer-led health platform, and I am a multimedia content strategist. Some of you who frequent the second channel may know that I've been trying to lose weight and overall just be more healthy and also get some fucking gains in. Sorry, working with Noom got me excited. They're helping me reach my goals with their psychology-based curriculum, which resonates because I went to school for psychology. I mean, it was only for a year and I fell asleep often, but I still love psychology. You know how it helps to have someone hold you accountable for things? Noom is that for me. Their food and exercise tracker, and there's real trained people behind this, like my goal specialist. Noom emphasizes daily lessons. My favorite thus far has been about thought distortions. Included with that was not feeling weird about ordering something light, because I grew up in a family, in a culture, where if you choose to eat something light, something is wrong with you. People would genuinely worry. Mijo, you okay? You barely touched your six double wrapped tacos. So click the link in the description to take your free Noom evaluation. It's quick, easy, and it'll help you create your custom plan. And thank you, Noom, for sponsoring this video. We see one of our villains early on while this man just loiters in the woods. He sees him way down the road, and that's cool and all, but... And I'm not even really trying to say that this is bad. It's just like I like this cute little score, but you would think we'd have some grandiose music there with some sound effects and some screams, but just that's all we get. And maybe it's like a cultural thing. I don't know. It's a very short movie, just a tiny bit over an hour, but man, is it terribly paced. We get a lot of talking, and sure, I could be biased here because they might as well be juggling for 40 minutes. Everybody who dies dies in the span of like. 10 minutes. And no, don't bother trying to turn up the brightness on your phone. It's the movie. Some positive news. There is this fun Sub-Zero mythology score. And for the hardcore anime fans out there, someone does say Nani. After having their car break down, they scavenge for water. And hey, this guy's still alive. He beats this guy over the head with a pipe. I don't know anybody's name <laughs> except the main character. He gives us some guava juice eyes and then scurries off. Except he doesn't, and he just full caveman mode runs to the car trying to turn the key in their ignition. This still remix to ignition. I thought this guy was missing. Big head rolling. Actually, we can't do that anymore, right? Man. They all panic because this guy's just rabies driven for no reason. But my guy saves the day and smokes him with a flashlight. <laughs> So you did kill him. <laughs> Is that just like a really racist way of saying that? Yeah, kill confirmed. Planted the rice. <laughs> He said it. I don't know what the fuck the translation is. Blame cancel YouTube. Hashtag cancel YouTube. Regardless, relax, Van Dam. You did not kill this dude with some ever readies. He's fine, and it's funny that you guys even freaked out to begin with because he doesn't end up tied up or thrown in the trunk. They just put him in the back seat and strap him in real sturdy like. He is in fact now more safe than he was before he hit their friend with a pipe. And this isn't even an attempt to keep him in the car. They're just all there with him asleep. So the movie makes the obvious progression here. And in less than three minutes, the carjacker slash attempted murderer who they thought died just casually wakes up like cool guy McGee and lights up a square. Nobody panics because now he's mysterious and sexy. So in this weird, unanimous, unspoken decision, he just joins the crew. Even better, one of the guys had left to go get water and he has not returned. So all three of them leave Fonzie in the car, probably with the keys, and go out to look for him. He's obviously dead. And I will give credit to this movie, the monster that killed him actually looks decent. <laughs> But like I said, the jump scare cues and editing is awkward, so he doesn't really hit like that, but A for effort. <laughs> and as bad shit as this geisha Pac-Man is, they don't really do much with her, at least in this movie. I can't speak on the others, maybe they're way better than this. She just really swoops in for finishing blows. She doesn't stalk them like this chalky goblin. So the men who aren't handsome are dead. Fonzie takes a flashlight to go get his bike, and this dingus lights a flare and then starts staring at it, even though she's fully aware that light is the enemy's uh, kryptonite. Hurry up, I have things to do. I'll eat to survive. Saki gets caught up, but Fonzie initiates Operation Drive Faster Than the Flying Head, which is the most this thing has been fucking involved in the movie, and it's also the best scene because of it. You already have this crazy fucking nutsack bizarre concept 
Just spam me with it. Saki tries to slow her down with camera flashes, which end up being the most unsettling frames of brain age over here. And listen, I could give you more, but you don't need it. I am glad this movie was made simply just for images and scenes like this. The game is interesting, and oddly enough had a lot in common with the movie, because like when you die in the video game, you die in real life. No, but there wouldn't be a jump scare cue. Is he gonna jump scare me? What? It was very lackluster in that regard, just like the movie. And yes, there are four other parts, but I struggled enough finding the first, so I didn't really bother with those, but if you feel that they're worth looking at, or maybe someone just has them in a nice cute little Google Drive for me, if by legal means, I might take a look at them. This is post-edit me, and I don't know if maybe just sitting on this video and thinking about it, I have kind of taken a liking to the game and the movie. I actually really want to see what they do with this series. I guess it's just one of those things where it just takes a little bit of time to appreciate I'm sorry I said those mean things about you, big head. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. Please leave another like because you didn't leave the first. Subscribe because I have more content coming your way. Shout out to my lovely patrons for always supporting the boy. Just uploaded some new videos on the second channel. You can take a look at them here. And as always, I am Mr. GG and I am out. Bye.